Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas, and today I want to walk you through the process of setting up a simple piano and pad layered sound. I use this sound live at church, and it works really great under a couple of different scenarios. One might be an intro. You can use this sound to kind of fill that empty space and bring a little bit of atmospheric sound into it. And the second place that I use it a lot is behind prayer, maybe at the end of a song behind prayer or behind speaking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of reset my keyboard and turn all the zones off. So in each sound panel, there's this button called zone select, and that's really how you turn the sound engines on and off. Now you could turn all three of these on. So now if I played, I'd have an organ, piano, and pad sound all at one time. And obviously not useful there. I'm going to turn the organ off and I'm going to turn the piano off. So right now I'm just going to go with the pad sound. We're going to get that set up and then we'll move on to the piano and add that into the mix. So the first thing I'm going to do is crank the level knob up so we can hear the sound and get the adjustments the way we want before we layer in the piano and start adjusting the levels of the two sounds. Each sound engine on the Nord Stage 3 has a level knob, so you can adjust the level of the organ, piano, and synth or program sounds independent of each other, which is really nice, especially live. If I want to fade the pad out completely and just go with straight piano, you can do that very easily with the level knob here. So we've got our zone select on for the synth engine. And what I'm going to do is pull up soft pad one, and we're going to use this as our bass. We're going to do some minor tweaks to this sound to get it to be a little softer. So this is a sound uh, full volume out of the box, just as how it comes with the Nord stage three. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this frequency knob and we're going to drop that down. So you'll notice all the way down there's very little sound coming out of this pad. It's just a very low tone there. And as we crank the frequency knob up you'll notice that the sound not only gets louder but it gets sharper. So you can use that frequency knob live to tweak how loud that pad is and how much it cuts through the mix. So maybe it's a part of a song where you actually do want the pad to cut through a little bit more. Maybe you don't have a dedicated synthesizer player at your church and it's just you running the show from a keyboard perspective. And you start off with the intro and you've got that going. And then you get into the chorus of the song, maybe the bridge as it builds and you can bring that in. So as you can see, some great dynamics to that sound. So we're gonna bring the frequency around the 75, 80 hertz range, somewhere in there. We've got it on 82 right now, that's fine. And our resonance, we're going to bring that up to about four. What this is gonna do is just round the sound out a little bit. And then because I want this to be a softer pad, I'm gonna take my attack and I'm gonna bring my attack up to about 400 milliseconds, somewhere in there, or if I can land 419, that works. So what this is gonna do is a sound is going to come in a little bit softer instead of being, so if I take the attack all the way back, So this is not something you'd want to use maybe uh, behind a piano because the piano already has that percussive nature to it. So what we want to do is as we crank this up, you'll notice the sound takes longer to come in. So you can 
play with that however you want. I like it around the 400 range. I think that does a good job of coming in fast enough. So if I'm doing core changes, you actually hear the core changes because if your attack is too long, then when you're doing core changes, you don't end up hearing those on the pad. So I like 400. And so that's all I do to the pad sound. Right there, I do the frequency, res, and attack, and I leave it at that. And what I'm gonna do now is layer in the piano sound. So what we wanna do is hit zone select on the piano engine, turn that on, and I've got the Royal Grand 3D. This is what it sounds like with the pad, both of them at full volume. As you can see right off face value, the pad is too loud in my opinion. You get some colliding frequencies with the piano and the pad, and if you're using a sound system in your church with subs, um, it's going to give you a little bit too much of that bass frequency as those notes kind of come together and they create almost like that wow sound. So you're gonna get a lot of that unless you turn the pad down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the pad back to about half, and this is maybe, we'll go with about 13, negative 13 dB on the pad. And under certain situations, I'll actually drop that back to about two thirds, maybe negative 20 um, dB. So I like that right in there. If you're playing through a sound system, I feel like right around negative 20 dB is good volume for the synth. The other piano that I'll use this with is the White Grand. So if I move over to that, the White Grand cuts through the mix a little bit better. And actually when I'm in live mode, I have the White Grand on my number one preset uh, or program. And then I have my layered White Grand with the pad on the second program. And in live mode, when you're switching between it, you don't get the cutoff of the sounds. So you can seamlessly switch between the two sounds. So maybe in the intro, I'm using the pad and layered piano. And as the song progresses and it gets louder and the band starts to come in, I'll move over to just the piano. And I'll do this transition, maybe going from a verse into a chorus where I'm like maybe bringing in the piano here. And then I'll switch to just the piano at that point. So it leaves that transition. The pad will ring and it allows me for a, a seamless transition from the piano pad into the piano. And generally going into a chorus of a song, the band comes in heavier and you don't notice the loss of the pad there. The other situation is if you do have a dedicated synthesizer player. So at the church I go to and play at, we have someone that's playing synth sounds and then uh, someone that's playing the piano and maybe some road sounds. So we've got two keyboard players and so I'll only use this sound uh, under prayer, under dialogue, or as an intro to a song where I'm covering uh, the intro of that song. So I'll use that in those situations. The last thing that I'm going to do here is add some reverb. So over here on the right hand side of the Nord, we've got the compressor and the reverb. So I'm going to turn the reverb on with this on switch here. So if I play it dry, there's really no ring to that. If I bring it up about halfway, Get a little bit of ring there. I usually drop that down in a live setting. In very depends on your church um, and the building and how much you get some natural reverb and echo in there. Um, 
I'll bring it down around four and I'll adjust it from there. Our church is fairly muted from a room echo standpoint. So I'll actually use that. If you've got a lot of room reverb, then you want to cut it back even more than four. And if we go up to maybe eight, you start to lose some of the tone on the piano. If I crank it to 10, sounds like you've just got your head right down into the the cavity of the piano. So we're gonna drop it back to four. So right there, we've got the piano, we've got the pad, and the reverb. And all we did as kind of a quick recap on the pad is we messed with the frequency, the res, and the attack. And on the piano, I didn't actually tweak the piano at all. And then we knocked the volume back to about negative 20 or two thirds of the volume level on the pad. And then our reverb set around four for the reverb on stage one preset. And that's pretty much it. You can save that as a, a program to your Nord stage three, or you can put that in like I have with live mode. I've got that um, set as my number two preset. And then number one is the white grant. So maybe I'm starting the intro. switch over to the grand So you can alternate between the two, and as you heard, there's no audible transition between those two sounds. So that's the way that I use it. Now the last thing I wanted to mention is if you're using this under a dialogue or a prayer, I'm just gonna bring this over to the white grand again. One thing that you can do is you can drop it into soft mode. So this is what it sounds like under the regular. Maybe you're ending the song and it's transitioning into a prayer or some dialogue. As you can tell, that's much softer. It won't cut through. It won't interfere with the dialogue as much. And there you go. Those are a couple of different scenarios, examples of where you can use this sound. This is something that I use in every church service that I play in, and it's my go-to. <laughs> and I alternate between this and just the piano. I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, hit that subscribe button, like this video. I also love interacting with you guys, so throw some comments below. Let's talk about this, throw ideas around, ask me questions. I'm happy to chat with you guys. So thanks for watching. Until next time, stay inspired and keep making that music.